they say, look at the enhanced role of national parliaments which is set out in the treaty. If a majority in half the parliaments in the EU object to an EU measure, they might be able to block it. But once again, it doesn't take much of a political analyst to work out that the chances of this mechanism being employed on any regular basis are vanishingly small. It could only be used if 14 different national parliaments, or nearly all of which have a government majority, defeated an EU proposal and did so in an eight-week period. Yet we only have to consider this for a moment as members of parliament to begin to laugh about it. With the difficulties of oppositions winning a vote in their parliaments, the odds against doing so in 14 countries on the same issue, with the variety of parliamentary recesses around Europe lasting up to 10 weeks in our own case, means that even if the European Commission were to propose the slaughter of the firstborn, it would be very difficult to achieve such a remarkable conjunction of parliamentary votes. 